The iconic role of Robert Ryan in Day of the Outlaw cost him everything. Robert Ryan, one of Hollywood's most dynamic and versatile actors, left an indelible mark on the film industry through his profound portrayals of complex characters. Born on November 11, 1909, in Chicago, Illinois, Ryan was raised in a family with a strong sense of responsibility, which undoubtedly influenced his later roles as a man of principle and moral conviction. His upbringing shaped him into a person who was not only talented but also deeply introspective, qualities that resonated throughout his career. Ryan's personal experiences, including his education and service in World War II, greatly informed the authenticity of his acting, making him a distinctive figure in the golden age of Hollywood. Robert Ryan grew up in a well-off family in Chicago, where his father was a successful businessman. His early life was marked by a strong focus on education, and he attended Dartmouth College where he was an active student both academically and athletically. He was a standout boxer during his college years, and this physicality would later translate into his powerful on-screen presence. His education at Dartmouth wasn't limited to just academics or athletics. It also expanded his worldview, giving him a sense of social responsibility that would later manifest in his advocacy for civil rights and his opposition to McCarthyism in the 1950s. His interest in acting was kindled during his time at Dartmouth, where he began performing in theater productions. However, after graduation, Ryan did not immediately pursue an acting career. Instead, he tried his hand at various jobs, including working as a stoker on a ship and a ranch hand in Montana. These experiences gave him a deep understanding of the working class struggles, which he would later channel into his acting, portraying characters who often wrestled with moral dilemmas and social issues. Ryan's life took a dramatic turn when he enlisted in the United States Marine Corps during World War II. His service was a pivotal period that had a lasting impact on his personal and professional life. He served as a drill sergeant, and his time in the military honed his discipline and shaped his views on leadership, duty, and honor. The intensity and gravity of his military experience would later be reflected in the strong, authoritative characters he portrayed on screen. After the war, Ryan's acting career began to gain momentum. He had always been interested in acting, but it wasn't until after his military service that he decided to fully commit to the craft. He moved to Hollywood and started taking acting classes, where his natural talent and raw intensity quickly caught the attention of casting directors. His breakthrough came with his role in Crossfire, 1947, in which he played a menacing, anti-Semitic killer. This role earned him widespread acclaim and his first Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. The film, one of the first to address issues of racial and religious intolerance, set the tone for the types of socially relevant projects Ryan would seek out throughout his career. Throughout the late 1940s and 1950s, Robert Ryan became known for his powerful performances in film noir, a genre that thrived on moral ambiguity and complex characters. He excelled at portraying men who were tormented by internal conflicts, often playing villains or anti-heroes. Ryan had a unique ability to bring depth and humanity to roles that might have otherwise been one-dimensional. His characters, even when they were cruel or violent, always had an underlying vulnerability, making them compelling and relatable. Some of his most notable films during this period include The Setup, 1949 where he played an aging boxer determined to make one last stand in the ring, and On Dangerous Ground, 1952, where he portrayed a hardened cop on the verge of emotional collapse. Both roles showcased Ryan's ability to blend physical toughness with emotional sensitivity, a hallmark of his acting style. His career wasn't confined to one genre. Ryan also took on roles in westerns, dramas, and war films. In The Naked Spur, 1953, he played a manipulative outlaw opposite James Stewart, and in Bad Day at Black Rock, 1955, he delivered a chilling performance as a bigoted small-town villain. His versatility allowed him to work alongside some of the biggest names in Hollywood, including John Wayne, Burt Lancaster, and Spencer Tracy. While Robert Ryan's on-screen presence was formidable, his off-screen life was equally significant. He was deeply committed to various social causes, particularly civil rights. 
In an era when it was not popular for Hollywood stars to speak out on political issues, Ryan was unafraid to voice his opinions. He was an outspoken critic of McCarthyism during the Red Scare, a stance that put him at odds with many in the film industry. Despite the potential risks to his career, he stood by his principles, advocating for freedom of speech and opposing the blacklisting of actors and filmmakers accused of communist sympathies. Ryan's commitment to social justice extended beyond his political activism. He was involved in numerous charitable causes and used his platform to raise awareness about issues such as poverty and racial inequality. He was a founding member of the Committee for the First Amendment, a group of Hollywood figures who spoke out against the House Un-American Activities Committee's investigations into alleged communist ties in the entertainment industry. His activism demonstrated that he was not just an actor but a man who believed in using his influence to make a difference in the world. As he aged, Robert Ryan transitioned to more mature roles, often playing characters with a sense of wisdom or authority. In Billy Budd, 1962, he portrayed the tormented Captain Veer, and in The Wild Bunch, 1969, he was cast as Dickie Thornton, a conflicted bounty hunter. These later roles allowed him to explore deeper emotional territory, and his performances continued to be met with critical acclaim. Ryan worked steadily in film and television throughout the 1960s and early 1970s, though his career was briefly interrupted by health problems. In 1973, Ryan was diagnosed with lung cancer, but he continued to work, delivering one of his final, haunting performances in The Iceman Cometh, 1973, a film adaptation of Eugene O'Neill's play. His portrayal of Larry Slade, a disillusioned former anarchist, was widely praised and stands as one of the defining moments of his career. On March 11, 1939, he married Jessica Cadwallader. They had three children, Timothy, B. 1946, Cheney, B. 1948, a research fellow at Oxford University and a professor of philosophy and law at the University of Oregon, and Lisa, B. 1951, they lived in the Dakota at 72nd and Central Park West in Manhattan and eventually sub-let and later sold the apartment to John Lennon and Yoko Ono. Robert and Jessica remained married until her death from cancer in 1972. On July 11, 1973, Robert Ryan passed away from complications related to his lung cancer illness. He was 63 years old. Despite his relatively early death, his legacy as an actor and activist endures. Robert Ryan is remembered as one of the most intense and talented actors of his generation, a man whose work resonated deeply because it came from a place of truth and personal conviction. The iconic role of Robert Ryan in Day of the Outlaw cost him everything in ways that extended far beyond the screen. Robert Ryan was already a seasoned actor by the time he took on the role of Blaze Starrett, a rugged, morally ambiguous cowboy in the bleak 1959 western. Known for his brooding intensity and ability to portray characters who struggled with their inner demons, Ryan's performance in Day of the Outlaw was a career-defining moment. But this role, celebrated for its raw, unfiltered portrayal of human desperation, came with a significant personal cost that affected Ryan emotionally, physically, and professionally. The character of Blaze Starrett was a deeply tormented man, and Ryan, who was known for immersing himself completely into his roles, struggled to separate himself from the mental and emotional darkness of the character. The film's setting, a remote, snow-covered wilderness, combined with the isolation and bleakness of the storyline, put Ryan in a state of emotional turmoil. It is said that the intensity of his performance left him feeling drained and disillusioned. As a method actor, Ryan often connected deeply with his characters, and in this case, the weight of Starrett's internal struggles mirrored some of Ryan's own unresolved issues with morality and masculinity, themes he had explored in various roles throughout his career. This emotional immersion cost Ryan a sense of peace and left him grappling with feelings of existential dread long after filming had ended. He would later reflect on this role as one of the most challenging experiences of his career, not because of its technical demands but because of the emotional toll it exacted on him. Beyond the emotional challenges, the physical demands of shooting day of the outlaw also took a toll on Ryan. The film was shot on location in the snowy mountains of Oregon, where the harsh, freezing conditions were brutal on the cast and crew. Ryan, already in his late 40s, 
was required to perform physically demanding scenes in sub-zero temperatures, often without proper protection from the cold. The punishing environment led to several health issues for Ryan, including frostbite and severe fatigue. At one point during filming, he was nearly hospitalized due to exhaustion and hypothermia. The extreme conditions under which Day of the Outlaw was filmed left Ryan physically weakened, and he would later cite the role as one of the most grueling in terms of physical hardship. The intense shoot left a lasting impact on his health, and he struggled to fully recover from the strain the production had placed on him. While Ryan was dedicated to his craft, the all-consuming nature of his role in Day of the Outlaw strained his relationships, particularly with his family. His wife, Jessica, and their children noted a distinct change in Ryan's demeanor during and after the filming of the movie. He became more withdrawn and prone to bouts of frustration and melancholy, behaviors that were exacerbated by the emotional and physical toll of his performance. The long periods away from home, combined with the intense pressures of his role, put a strain on his marriage and his role as a father. Ryan had always struggled to balance his personal life with the demands of his career, but Day of the Outlaw pushed those tensions to a breaking point. His emotional distance and the lingering effects of the role caused significant friction at home, leading to a period of estrangement with his wife and children. Professionally, Day of the Outlaw solidified Robert Ryan's reputation as one of Hollywood's most powerful and intense actors, but the film's dark tone and his harrowing portrayal of Blaze Starrett also pigeonholed him into certain types of roles. While Ryan had always played complex, morally ambiguous characters, after Day of the Outlaw, he found himself increasingly typecast in darker, more violent roles. This limited his opportunities to explore the full range of his talents, which frustrated the actor, who yearned for more varied and nuanced roles. Despite his critical success, Ryan felt trapped by the very persona that had made him famous. He often lamented that his work in Day of the Outlaw had marked the beginning of a career downturn, where his range was underappreciated by Hollywood, and he was confined to roles that mirrored the tormented characters he had portrayed so well. In the years following the release of Day of the Outlaw, Ryan reflected on the role with a mixture of pride and regret. While the performance remains one of the most celebrated of his career, he could not shake the feeling that the film had cost him more than it had given. It exacted a personal and professional price that left him emotionally scarred and physically weakened, while also stunting the creative opportunities he craved. Even as the film grew in esteem and earned a cult following for its gritty, stark portrayal of frontier life, Ryan's relationship with the movie remained complex. It was a masterpiece of acting, but one that, in many ways, had taken everything from him. It was a role that defined him, but also one that left a shadow over the latter part of his career and personal life. In the end, Day of the Outlaw stands as a testament to Robert Ryan's incredible dedication to his craft but also as a cautionary tale about the personal costs of artistic greatness. The movie may have brought him critical acclaim, but it also brought with it a cascade of consequences that impacted his health, his family, and his future as an actor. It was, in many ways, the role that cost him everything. Everything. Everything.